Organizing UVs is still a tricky thing for me. I still don't know if I'm doing it correctly. I'm just trying to get as close as possible. But at the same time, I don't want colors to actually overlap each other. That's why I always leave some sort of space. Technically, I'm wasting texture space by leaving space like this. But that's just how I decided to do it. And that's how I've been practicing. I think I've been getting better at it, at least from the beginning if you've been watching all my videos it was definitely confusing when i first started with character 1.1 which was ghosts i was super confused on how i even want to unwrap everything i was doing a q projection that just makes all the uvs split as quick as possible but then it's in a weird shape that doesn't really fit correctly next to each other I stopped using that method and just marked the seams the way I think it would work best for each of my characters. Each character is different on how I mark the seams. You'll be able to see that for the more complex characters, how I cut everything. And I think I just make it probably much more difficult for myself. But I want more control over what I put over my characters as a texture. I'm trying to get to that point where when we're creating complex characters, we're going to have some cool textures on top. We have to get to that point by working on these characters one by one, just practicing. That's why I do it that way. 